Legend Turtle here, and today we're doing a Rate Your Doomstack video covering a Bloodthirster Doomstack. Now, you'd think a Bloodthirster Doomstack would be best in the uh, Exiles of Corn faction, but based on his setup here, I can I can see what he's trying to do here, and I'd say this is looking really good. So, you've got the Demon Prince, who is a joke in many ways, but the thing that makes this such a killer combination is you've got Bloodthirsters that are really strong. Even without stat boost, which they've, looks like they've got quite a lot of stat boosts. But you've got a Herald of... Uh, not a Herald, a Plague Ridden of Nurgle. Which is able to heal them quite easily. So Nurgle's got an overcasted uh, heal spell that doesn't have any uh, entity limits. So you can just heal the entire army and by a ton with just a couple of spell casts. Giving you a lot more uh, capability out of each individual Bloodthirster. Because they're able to get 75% of their max health back. Now, we're going up against four armies of Cathay. This is absolutely huge. This is the biggest army I think that uh, somebody has sent for me to go up against. And yet, we're still going to let them get set up to get organized because we want to really put this to the test. Now, let's jump in here and see how it goes. It's quite possible that this army here would be better than the Stonehorn Doomstack. Because I thought originally that the Stonehorn Doomstack was going to be one of the best Doomstacks. And then I saw it in action, I was like, eh. It did take a lot of damage. There's no way I could justify giving it a 10 out of 10. But we'll see how this goes. Because Bloodthirsters are very strong. But if you're playing as Corn, you're going to be taking damage no matter what. Even if you go up against small armies, that may not only be a small amount of damage. Just because they're a melee unit and uh, they can't heal. And they, they can't really get any healing from post-battle uh, loot options. But when um, when you've got uh, a Nurgle support, then you can heal them. And only Chaos Undivided can do that. You, you're not going to be able to get this to help you out as Corn Unless you borrow a Nurgle army and have it monitor, uh, like go around you. But that seems like a waste of effort. Alright, so we want to let them get organized. Right? So... So, is this guy on foot? Yeah, he should be on a blood shrine in my opinion. But it's not that big of a deal. I imagine that he's just there to keep things on the ground. Because the uh, the Plague Ridden is on a rot fly. Now, you might think that um, if you've got flying units and just put them on the ground, that it will stop the leadership penalty that will occur. It doesn't. I actually tried that out back in early access. Yeah, if you've got an all-flying army, even if you land them, they'll still take constant leadership effect, uh, penalties. So you've got to have one unit on the ground, or you've got to be constantly fighting, which this army here would, but I, I think it does make sense to put a uh, Blood Reaper on the ground there. If there was a different unit to bring, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe you could have brought a Death Wizard uh, Plague Ridden, just so you can access Unlimited Winds of Magic. Not that big of a deal, though, because even if you had tons of winds of magic there's a there's a limit to how much you can heal them and this might just be strong enough as it is as for like the slanesh ones or the cinch ones i just don't think we would need it maybe shadow magic would have been good um yeah that would have been good instead of this guy but whatever so what we're gonna do here is just let them get organized as for what we sometimes do with these disaster uh, not disaster um doomstack battles Problem is, though, they might come at us, and they don't realize they're actually giving them a chance. <laughs> we, we could go over there and utterly dumpster all over them, but we want to give them a chance here, so we need to let them get their army together, because we're here to test the army out. Not, not It's not a same disaster battle. The guy doesn't need the uh, save file back. Okay, Locus of Fecundity. So that would be good for... I mean, that's... You don't really need it because the fleshy abundance is more than enough. All right, yeah, just let them let them get organized. That's fine. Hang on, I'm getting shot. Come on, man. I'm <laughs> letting you get organized. Get your forces together, and then we'll fight. See, I have honor. I'm going to let you do it. If you come up here, I will kill you. Well, you know, I did warn you. <laughs> it's fucking Skylander. 
My hot air balloon versus fucking 17, 18 big ass demons. What's going on here? Did they just summon that unit? Oh, okay. That's interesting. I got, I got too many guys there. They're going after my Blood Reaper by the look of it. That's it. Let them get organized. But, you know, they feel like they need to send their busy bodies up here to annoy us. It's not really going to hurt them that much by us killing their lords. It's on very hard battle difficulty. What's this? It's just a dragon guard, okay. So, probably important that we get rid of all the units that are going to do a lot of friendly fire to their own troops, such as the fire rain rockets. The uh, sort of, it's not really a downside, but uh, in terms of testing the downside here is that uh, by damaging these units here and getting rid, of, getting rid of them, it's causing a lot of bounce power damage to them, so we're going to get a very early army losses, but we'll still be able to get a good test for it. <laughs> How to tell the AI, hey bro, just get organized, get into a proper formation and then I'll attack you. <laughs> You know, you don't stand a chance if you come at me disorganized like this. Just avoid fighting that. We've only got a few seconds left. So we don't need any heals yet. Yeah, try to get rid of these sky junks because they're just going to kill their own units as soon as we land. Don't go after my Blood Reaper. Okay. We're almost done there. Then we gotta get rid of these ones over here. We got uh, Fire Rain Rocket, Fire. Uh, Grand Candy, yeah, that's where we're gonna go. They're just gonna kill their own units. Well, not so much the uh, the Grand Cannons, but they're just in the area, so I'm gonna take them out. Alright, let's go, 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 go. Oh man, just fuck off. Yeah, I really think you should have put this guy on a uh, blood shrine. I'm pretty sure blood shrines can still hide. If God commands, yes, I will. Power of an immortal. If God commands, see if you can get down to here. That's a good ability there. Really good. But yeah, I definitely would prefer it on a um, Blood Shrine. I think Blood Shrines are awesome. Alright, well, they've got 40 units on the battlefield, and we're getting rid of the units that are going to cause friendly fire damage. There's still that sky jump over there. Maybe I'll just give this guy a bit of a heal. Just just a non-overcasted fleshy abundance. The non-overcasted version is really not cost effective for Winds of Magic. You want to be overcasting that one. Which means blob. Well, 
But we got plenty of wins of magic. They're going after the damn Blood Reaper. Tab's trying to let them get organized. Would you just get organized so I can actually have a proper fight? Fuck's sake. Look at this, it's just a complete mess. Get your shit together. Oh yeah, they're going after the Demon Prince. He's taking a beating because he sucks. Because he's, he's only got a little bit of resistance. Can't get them out of there. May have to keep him out of the fight a little bit. So I'll just uh, have him stand over here. Might be able to bring him all the way there. Okay, because we're here to test out the uh, the bloodthirst. As we know that he's a joke in combat. Because, yeah, the AI, when they see the Demon Prince, they just shoot at him. They know he's crap. He's just a pincushion to them. So just keep him out of the fight. Okay. Is this as organized as you're going to get? So what's it going to be? Still lots of reinforcements to come in. Alright, I'm getting tired of waiting. Uh, that looks crap. Alright, we should probably go after their missile units. Now we gotta actually fight it. You know, not complete stupid. And just leave the Demon Prince out of it. I thought you were supposed to be hiding. They just won't leave this guy alone. He's hidden, but the AI actually remembers where you are now. <laughs> you know, I tried to give the AI a chance, let them get organized, but they just won't have any of it. Alright, with all the missile units here, we're getting shot up a fair bit. Now I know that if we had charged at them at the start here, we would have just absolutely destroyed them. Like I said, we want to give these guys a test. Now, not all Doomstacks I'll do this with, because some of them I just know can't handle it. I'll only put them up to what they can handle. Sometimes if you use a, uh, a, um, a Doomstack really badly, but still get excellent results, that's a great indication of a super strong Doomstack. And don't get me wrong, we have not fought this battle well. We should have rushed at them right at the start. Allowing them to get all their missile units together? Really dumb idea. Okay. You got uh, Terracotta Sentinel over here. This is where the fight's going to be. It's time for a big heal as well. Here you go, have one of these. And we'll add up one of those. So I'm not sure if that's going to heal them to full. Yeah, this is what I wanted to try to prevent. Could you get rid of that for me? Alright, I'll use the summons to get rid of their artillery. Because they're not going to do any damage to us. But I'm trying to prevent them from doing something stupid like obliterating their own troops. Look at that, these are some really good units. Oh, there's Noblars in there. There's some really good units in here, Celestial so Dragon Guard, and we're just shitting all over them. Yep, they're just killing everything. And stuff. Let's see, get rid of that. Any more coming up this way? There will be, but I reckon the army losses will be triggered before they even come in.
else that's going on over here. Uh, yeah, he's handling that. It's fine. Fighting in the forest as well, losing 20% of our melee attack. Although it does provide us with a, uh, a bit of a shield against their missile units. Because the, uh, the Celestial Dragon crossbowmen, they can um, penetrate their armor. Not the physical resistance though. Okay, I think what we need to do is get together again. They're all off in their individual fights. They need to be fighting back to back. They want to do a good job, that's what they need to do. Also makes it a bit easier when we want to heal them. Also helps to recover their fatigue with this one. Don't want to be using any of the offensive magic, just focus on healing. Like I said, we're not trying to fight this to the best of our abilities. We don't need to. This army's so fucking strong. We're here to test them out. Okay, this guy here, however, isn't doing so well. Let's pull him out. Some of them are starting to get to their max heals. But there are not that many of them. There's only 600 remaining. Yeah, see, if this guy had been on a blood shrine, he'd probably be at full health right now. The crane gunners there, yeah, they were doing a bit of damage. But bloodthirsters do have quite a bit of health. Surprise, the army loss isn't triggered yet. The, uh, the Terracotta Sentinels, they would be a bit of a concern for Bloodthirsters. Because they got a magical attack and... Are they anti-large? No, they're just armor-piercing. So just penetrate their armor and their physical resistance. And they're unbreakable. So, let's get over here and just give him just a basic heal. I don't think we're going to need the Fulton Rod. I'm still kind of surprised the army losses hasn't triggered yet. There's no more reinforcements coming in from there. What about from here? Yeah. Oh, there's still a fair bit coming from there. Oh, okay, fair enough. Let's 
don't take his degree. Alright, I reckon if we take out this sky junk here, Come that'll probably cause the own losses. Alright, fire rain rockets, that's gotta go. That'll be their last heal, I think. And there's the army losses. Cool. Uh, there must be a terracotta sentinel around here, because the army losses wasn't triggered. Oh, uh, no, there wasn't. Okay. Just don't know. So, if we have a look at the damage, we've got a couple of bloodthirsters that took a bit of damage. Um, I kept him out of it just because he's a squishy boy. They and the AI just aim for him. He's got barely any armor, and uh, what's his resistance? He's got no missile resistance. He's got twenty-five percent physical resistance essentially, which is f essentially five percent higher than the uh, the bloodthirsters. If we have a look at the stat differences, though between the Demon Prince and just a regular Bloodthirst, although it does have nine tiers of experience. So, he's got a little bit more leadership. He's got 15 less speed. He's got one extra melee attack, four extra melee defense. He's weaker, significantly weaker in weapon strength. So he doesn't have the bonus versus infantry or bonus versus large, where um, that essentially just adds on to their weapon strength and their melee attack. So, actually... The Demon Prince here has lower melee attack than all of them because their their minimum is plus eight uh, versus infantry and even, even better versus large. So yeah, he's actually seven melee uh, attack lower than them. And then the charge bonus, which isn't that important, is higher on the Bloodthirsters. And then he's got these other abilities here, which you know they're okay. You know, extra extra weapon strength to nine hundred fifty. It's all right. Yeah, a couple of that, up to 1,000. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that is the Demon Prince, I think, at his maximum corn level. And that's just not really that good. So we'll have a look at the equipment and see what's making this so good. Oh, another thing that makes this super strong is the fact that it's really cheap. Because he's dedicated to corn. If you're going to do this... You should dedicate to the right god. Um, I think his equipment set reduces the upkeep cost of all corn units by 60%. Not faction wide though, just for his army. Yeah, that's another th annoying thing about glory. Like, once you've hit the maximum amount, um, there's just no more use for it, and your post battle loot options just don't matter that much. Or at all, for that matter. Alright, he was over in Cathay. Where is he? There he is. Alright, let's have a look at him. So his bloodletting wasn't at maximum, but there's no extra stat bonuses for that, so that's not that big of a deal. Um, that Chaos Realm trait is not hurting him. Not really, so that's fine. Just curious. And which one did you go with? Van... Oh, right, right. Yeah, that's a good one for this, actually. Yeah, that's good. Because, yeah, you want to get up in their face right away. Which we didn't do in that battle. And we barely took any damage. You know, you go into another small-scale battle and they'll be just fully healed. Because it's all just single entities. Alright, let's have a look at his skill set over here first. Annihilation. Um, this is probably a mistake to put multiple points into, into glory gaining. Because it will only delay you reaching your maximum by, like, one or two turns by putting these points in. And you can't get these points back. So... It's just not of any value now. You want to put one point into it to get down the other line, but the rest of it's kind of useless. So you got the reduced upkeep cost for the corn units. That makes sense. And then there's... Isn't there another one in here to reduce upkeep costs on corn? Yeah, yeah. Another 15% there. So 30% reduced upkeep cost for corn. Uh, various effects over here, which will affect any type of unit in their army. So that's a good call. And then he's... Yep, weapon strength for bloodthirsty units, uh, melee attack for bloodthirsty units, which is, you know, alright. 
And uh, they don't have a tech tree, but they've got, you know, this. If we have a look here at some of the bonuses that we're getting for Corn units, specifically for the Bloodthirsters. Right. Yeah, reducing upkeep cost for 25% for Corn units. That's really good. And the summon from beyond. But there's no actual technologies here that boost Bloodthirsters. Um, now let's have a look at his equipment. So the set that he's got is the Bloodthirsty Prince of Corn, uh, which gives him reduced upkeep costs for 60% for corn units, uh, reduces the recruitment costs, upgrades the Deathbringer ability, so that's uh, this one here. Then charge bonus for Gore Beast Chariot, Blood Crushers, Skull Crushers, and Perfect Figure. Right, so this is really just about getting that reduced upkeep cost for corn units. Right, so let's have a look at the, some of the equipment. I'm not going to go through everything here. I'm just have a look at some of it. Um, let's see, where is it? The what's it called? This one here is the it'll highlight uh, the trophied horns. Right. So this is this is what you get at the absolute end of the uh, the corn you know, tech tree. Passive ability fueled by rage, which is enabled when his hit point is reduced below 50%, which didn't happen in that battle. Uh, it maybe happened briefly, but I healed him. Gore Feast, which is good. That is a really good one. Leadership plus 10. Uh, generally speaking, lords don't really need that much leadership. Uh, once you've got leadership of about 90, you're essentially unbreakable. You're only going to start crumbling when you've got like 1% health left. So extra leadership there just isn't needed. And then melee attack plus 15. If we have a look at the base, like equipment demonic horns physical resistance and leadership plus 10 uh, that's not great but you don't have the physical resistance in that in terms of the set bonus that's really good but the actual benefits of the trophied horns here is not that good if we ever look at his torso here which he didn't go with the corn thing he's gone just with leather armor uh ward save plus oh, look at this. Right. Yeah, so ward save plus 10%, melee defense plus 15, melee attack 5, chaos armor. If we have a look at the basic one, ward save and melee defense. So this is this is what you get to begin with, and that is the end game. So the difference between... Wait, hang on. This isn't corn stuff. Why didn't you go with something corny? Let's have a look. Um, there's the mark of corn here. It's, yeah, it's, just, it's not really that big of a deal either. Same amount of ward save. Armored flaming body here. Fire resistance is not really that needed. Um, foreboding ignition? No, that's crap. Yeah, that's whatever, it's okay. Armor plus 40? Pfft, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, that, that item on its own is a piece of crap. Yeah. So it seems like the torso is not needed for the set bonus. So you need the tail, wings, left arm, head, legs, right arm. Right. So he has other sets as well. So that's the Burning Prince of Corn. The Blood... Okay, so you've got the Bloodthirsty Prince of Corn and the Burning Prince of Corn. So he's went with... They essentially do the same thing. It's... Uh, it's a little bit different. Reduced upkeep costs. Upgrades for the slaughter. It doesn't affect our blood thirsters though. It just affects the blood letters, right? So not that big of a difference. I I, I can see why he went with the other one, because yeah, the in terms of um, the actual torso here, like it's just crap. So what was the end game? What was the end game one for his last like torso? That one there, bestial light armor. Is absolute shit. Yeah, the extra ward save is, is way better than this. Spell resistance isn't that big of a deal, because usually you don't get that many spells casted on you. But that is the, the final piece of uh, corn armor that he gets, it seems. Collar and strap is, is garbage crap. Yeah. But yeah, I think he did everything right here to make this, um, this doom stack. It's just that the Demon Prince himself is just a joke. Uh, but this army here, in terms of rating it, how would I go about it? It's really hard to, to rate this one because I think the Demon Prince is a joke, but this army is super strong. The combination of the Plague Ridden 
and the Bloodthirsters is amazing. Plus the fact that the Bloodthirsters are only costing him just basically nothing is super, super good. Um, I think that the Blood Reaper here definitely should be on a Blood Throne. I don't know why he isn't. He should have been. Um... Because, yeah, that would have allowed him to be a bit faster and uh, provide a passive bonus around them. And they're just really good fighters at that. Um, I'm going to say this is a 10 out of 10. Like, he took on four full stacks. I fought it badly on purpose. Um, I really can't see any enemy putting up much of a fight against this that you'll go up against in the campaign. You should be able to handle anything. Absolutely anything. Sieges... Final battles, uh, quest battles, just anything. And that's what 10 out of 10s are reserved for. If you can fight basically any battle with zero IQ and just come out completely on top, then it's a 10 out of 10. And that it meets all the criteria for it. It's just weird that the Demon Prince, possibly one of the worst legendary lords in Warhammer 3, gets a 10 out of 10 Doomstack. But it's only 10 out of 10 because of his set bonus. And because of the units, not because of he himself. He's he's barely contributing to it. It's just a reduced upkeep cost, really. But yeah, because it's super cheap, and because it's just super strong, I have to give it a 10 out of 10. Anyway, that's the end of this one, guys, here. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this Doomstack. I think this is the strongest Doomstack in the game that I've seen so far, with the weakest commander at, at the helm here. I think his equipment just totally sucks. CA so yeah, really needs to do another pass on him. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.